fellow RC enthusiasts, it's your host Tom Cogswell here for another Spectrum NX tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make adjustments to your gimbal sticks. Overall, what we're going to go over is the simply just how to change the lengths of the sticks if you so choose or how to change them in general if you want to. Uh, and then we're going to go over in more detail on how to adjust the spring tensions and the throttle ratchet tensions and how to change the modes. So first off, the tools that you're going to need for this are, if you're going to be changing the stick lengths, is a one and a half millimeter wrench like this. You're also going to be needing a number one Phillips head screwdriver for changing the tensions and the modes on your sticks. So first off, let's get a quick look at what all the adjustment screws are. So on the face of your transmitter, there's going to be four holes. You're going to have a hole here, 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 and here. And on the other side, it's essentially the same thing, but mirrored. So this is our traditionally our left hand side, which is our throttle gimbal if you're running mode two. So let's go over what these holes are. So this hole here actually houses two screws that are the screws for the throttle tension and ratchet. And we'll go over that a little bit more detail here in a moment. This hole here is for the mode change. So what essentially that's going to do is if you turn that screw out counterclockwise, it's going to make this stick return to center. Just like your right side gimbal. This hole up here is going to be that tension for that. So really, in, in for this scenario, for if you, this is your throttle stick, this hole here is useless. It's not going to do anything, so don't touch it. And then this hole here, which you, you see that screw there, that one is for the left and right motion tension on it. So you'll turn it out to make it looser and you'll turn it in to make it tighter. So if you did want to change this to mode, uh, mode one or mode three, like I was saying, what you would do is you would take your screwdriver and you would turn it out. Let's just see what happens. As I'm turning it out, you'll notice that the spring is engaging and now the stick has returned to center. Cool. So and then likewise, on the other side, if you wanted to make that mode one or mode three and you want this one to not, you're going to turn it in. And then I'm going to keep going. And like I was saying, this is kind of the mirror image and then upside down. So it's mirrored and twisted or, or whatnot. You just want just kind of think, OK, this hole's up here. So this one is on the same side as that hole. And oh, I think I'm actually going the wrong way. We want to no, Yeah, we want to twist it in. And you kind of got to put a good amount of pressure on it as you're turning these screws until it relaxes just like that. And then also one thing that's covered up here is if you're changing this over to the mode one or mode three, you do want to take this little cover off here and that's the top and bottom. And there's a little switch there, right? So when you're doing that, put your stick in the center and move the switch. Do that for both the top and bottom. Let's look at that one. You can use your tool to kind of move it for you if you'd like. that. And now the stick travel is reduced. And, and the reason for that is because if your stick is not reduced, I mean, you can actually run at the height further travel, uh, but it is going to make it a little harder if it's not reduced to hit the extents like the inner corner. So that's why we have that there. It makes it a little bit more ergonomic for the user. I'm going to go ahead and put this back because I fly mode two. But that's just a quick rundown on how to change the modes. And there we go, back to mode two. Now everything's back the way it was. Uh, quick side note, um, if you are going to go into changing the mode, you will have to go into a menu on the radio. And I'll show you that real, real quick. Oh. So we go to, to the system setup menu, go to yes. system settings, and you can change the mode here. So this is not the flight mode or anything like that. That is actually the stick mode. 
of the transmitter. So if you change this, it is gonna make you recalibrate the sticks. So now that you know which of these holes do what, let's pull up my little gimbal for you to be able to have a better look at the mechanisms that are present on our Spectrum gimbals. So this is a NX6 gimbal. Now essentially this same gimbal um, is at least the, the template and how things are, are working uh, is the same uh, pretty much across the board. If it has these holes out the front, then it's gonna be pretty much the same. So looking at this gimbal, first let's go over the stick here. So this is pretty long stick. I've actually extended it out. And if you try to twist it, it's pretty well locked in place. And that's because, and if you look right down the center of the stick, there is a set screw or a grub screw or kind of a jam screw, whatever you wanna call it, that is keeping it from being turned in anymore. So if you want it to be really short, put your one and a half millimeter wrench in there and turn it out. And as we're going, you can kind of see that that grub screw or that set screw is moving out. And then you can keep going. Da, da, da. Until essentially, until it kind of, it's kind of flush with the end. And that's about as far down as you can get. But let's say you don't like these sticks or you want to use a different stick. Simple enough, just take this stick off. And this post is what's called an M3 threaded post, okay? So it's an M3 screw on the post, and that uses a pretty standard type of stick. So like these guys I got off of uh, Amazon, will screw onto there. You just gotta look up M3 stick ends or gimbal sticks, and it'll work. There you go. So that's kind of an umbrella shaped one. I don't think it's the complete set, but hey, it's some that I've got around. I don't really use them much anymore, but there you go. So that's how you would change the stick end or adjust the length of the stick. Again, they are an M3 type stick. Let's put our gimbal stick back on. Simple enough. So let's go into more detail on what we're looking at here, okay? So like I was saying, we've got these two screws for the throttle ratchet and tension. And if we look at the inside of the gimbal or the back of the gimbal, you'll see that it has these two essentially adjustment screws here. Let's grab our screwdriver. So these screws here correspond and increase the tension or decrease the intention, uh, tension on these tension straps that are on the back of the gimbal. So if we're looking at the back of this gimbal here, you'll see as I'm moving it, it's got that strap right there on the back of that piece there. So as you tighten these screws, it pulls in this strap and puts tension on the stick. Let's go ahead and put this guy into mode or uh, into a, uh, a slack kind of setup here. Turn the screw in here. And now it's just kind of flopping around. So let's increase the tension. So if we want to increase the tension, we put our screwdriver into this hole. So if we're looking at the gimbal stick and it's, think of it as in your radio, that's gonna be the right hole because it's on this strap here. And as we turn it in, you'll see it's pulling that strap against the back of the gimbal slider there. And now we've got more tension on the stick. Let's say you don't like that much tension. Put your screw back in there or your screwdriver and turn it out clockwise or counterclockwise. You'll turn it counterclockwise out and you'll see that it gives it more slack. Now, if you do completely kind of turn this all the way out, you can drop this piece into your radio. So be careful not to go too far. There is a lot of travel to it and you kind of feel it kind of really getting loose at some end. You'll even, if it starts flopping back and forth like this, you know, you're moving your radio and the stick just kind of flops, you're, you've gone a little far. So that's the tension on the throttle. What about the ratchet side? So it's got a ratchet built into it, which is this little guy here on the right hand side, or rather if the gimbal's facing towards you, it's gonna be on the left. And that one is going to be rubbing against kind of a ratchet dentured, um, it's got a, and you can, you can kind of hear it here. 
and it kind of gives it so that each little piece of movement to the gimbal stick has its own place. I like that myself. I like to have it kind of loose, but just so it's there because so, so I feel that I'm kind of moving the stick and it helps hold it in place a little bit. So to turn that on, you put your screwdriver into the left hole if you're looking at it that way. Um, if you're doing a mode two, or I'm sorry, if you're doing mode one, it's gonna be the right hole. Just kind of think of it upside down. So we're gonna put our screwdriver in there and we're gonna turn this in. Keep going in until you start to feel it, start to ratchet. Now you guys don't have to take your gimbal out to do this. I'm just showing you so you can have a better idea of what we're adjusting and how the things work in here. I feel like seeing how it works might help people have a better idea of what they're doing. All right, so that's a little tight for me. Personally, I like it to be just a little loose. I like to have, and essentially, if you're using one, you need to loosen up the other. So that's one, one point that I like to make is if you wanna use tension, loosen up this one so that there is no ratchet. And if you wanna use ratchet, loosen up the tension until, and then tighten the tension uh, on the ratchet. It's back in here. So yeah, it's a little loose. Get it the way I want it. There we go, I like that. So it's just a little bit of ratchet, but it's still nice and smooth and loose. So I can, I'm a pinch flyer, so I can move it in small increments if I like. All right, so let's look at the other screw. So let's go ahead and turn off uh, the mode here so we can think of it as a uh, elevator or aileron gimbal left and right axis, the or X and Y or however you want to look at it. Let's screw this out. All right, so now we've got, oh, I still got some tension on the ratchet here. Let's turn that out so that we aren't moving that. Okay, so let's turn it around, pretending this is our elevator and aileron gimbal. The screws that we're gonna be concerned with are gonna be, and we'll look at my radio again, this hole here, and then on the gimbal itself, right in there, it's, it might be a little hard to see here, but it's that hole there. So this one's gonna be the up and down movement here. And this one is gonna be the left and right movement. And that's gonna be the amount of spring tension that is on the gimbal. Pulling up our gimbal again here. So let's say we feel like this is a little too tense, right? So if we look at the back of the gimbal here, you'll see that there's a screw right there. And that is what is putting tension on this spring here, right? Same with the other screw here. You can kind of see the back of the screw. So the, that one's the inner portion here. And then this one over here is the screw on the outside hole. To decrease tension, you're gonna turn it counterclockwise or turn it out, and that's gonna release tension on this spring. And this, is, this little pad here is gonna go out. Now, again, if you turn it too much, you're gonna lose this spring or this little uh, adjustment thing is gonna fall out and you'll have to take the radio apart or send it in to get it put back together correctly. So just be careful that you don't uh, turn it out too much. And what, you'll feel it when you get it out too much. And let's do that. So let's turn it out until it almost falls out. Pretty close. And you'll feel like the center is just, it's almost loose, right? you know that you've gone too far with that. So really, in my opinion, just use about two turns, half turns, two and a half turns at a time until you feel the tension that you want. The, the less is better. You don't want to just kind of turn, turn, turn until it falls out. So, but if we want more tension, you'll turn in, correct? So let's go in real far, give us a lot of tension. And you'll see that little plunger is pulling in and the spring is getting tighter. You can kind of tell that the uh, coils are getting spread apart a little bit more. And now the elevator or our up and down motion is pretty tight. That, that's that, I think that's a little too tight, but everybody's got their own preference, right? The same thing goes for the rudder and aileron, the left and right motion. So it's that inner screw here. If we turn it in, it will make it more tight. 
as we're turning it in, it's pulling that little plunger in and it's pulling tension on that screw here or that spring here rather. So as I turn it in, we are going to get more tension. And again, if we turn it way too far out, if we want to loosen it up, I'll just turn it way out more than I need to. It gets pretty loose. It's not going to fall out yet, but again, just use small increments until you get the feel that you're desired uh, or your desired feel. And once you get really loose, that's when you want to start thinking, okay, am I getting too loose? Is the spring going to pop off? Is my uh, screw going to come out? And you can even see it right there. You see that? So the screw is almost too loose and it's starting to come out and it's actually uh, becoming a problem with the gimbal itself. So that's, that's pretty loose though, right? Now there are people that are going to do some modifications to their gimbals. It's not necessarily covered under warranty, but uh, you can put like different springs and things like on it uh, if you so desire. Uh, I feel like the springs are, are a good tension, um, but that's one thing that I've seen people do. Let's go back in so we're not hitting the gimbal. There we go. All right, that's pretty loose right there. Obviously, guys, this is a hobby. If you guys feel like you need to add more tension or decrease tension, rather, it's up to you. you it, we don't necessarily recommend modifying your radios, but there are forums and posts online that show people different ways to modify your gimbal to make it feel smoother or even more relaxed on the springs. You can put different springs in it. I've seen people do that. Um, not necessarily something that we cover under warranty, but it's your stuff. So if you want to modify it, go for it. And there you have it. That is the adjustments that you can make to your NX transmitters gimbal sticks. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments below. If you have any other NX transmitter tutorials that you would like me to cover, feel free to also leave those in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and happy flying, everybody.